but very ballsy maneuver there. I'm going to go ahead and push. Oh, was it about the park? Oh, we got to try that again. Okay, new update for the hardware version 4 Model Y. This one already got updated. I'll put a post in that for that holiday update that the hardware version 3 got. Let's jump in here to the Model Y and see what the update is. So we can see that this is 2024.33.40, says it right up here. This is oh, unfortunate. So we have actual smart summon here and it looks like it's still gonna require us to do a continuous press. That's still down here in the coming soon. And then also actually smart summon is not smart enough yet to use home link in the MyQ garage integration. So if it's parked in your garage, it'll open the door and then back itself out. So you can see that this is unfortunately not FSD 13. This is 12.5.6.4. We have some updates here. But again, I will be doing a test in this video. This just says full self-driving supervised, vision-based attention monitoring, that's not new. And uh, update on data sharing. This is kind of cool. This update is now gonna be using a short audio recording up to 10 seconds collecting when a siren is approaching. That's to help drive the Tesla if they are hearing a siren approaching. So pretty cool with that. Of course, sound detection data is not associated with your VIN. Now, what I'm not seeing here is um, this is not the holiday update. So there's still hope out there that we're going to get version 13 before Christmas, but time will tell. All right. So we did get a little blurb up here about data sharing. So we're committed to you. We're not going to sell your data. We're not going to use your data uh, for... We're gonna use your data to improve and create new safety features. And then you have to toggle on this allow sound detection analysis because I'm sure it's using the camera internally or the uh, rather the uh, microphone internally um, in the car to capture this data for emergency vehicles. Full stop here, no cross traffic. We did uh, did wait ever so slightly for that one car there and pretty smooth left, left turn. Now transitioning over into the left-hand turn lane. This is a stop sign here, so it does need to come to a full NHTSA stop. Full stop down to zero, no cross traffic. It is clear for it to go. Right turn signal does come on. Approaching a red light, so it's gonna treat it like a stop sign. Now the light turns green should roll right through this is slowing down significantly but is rolling through properly excellent job transitioning over like into this left hand lane this is something that the fsd has been doing to me this lane ends immediately a little frustrating i have disengaged several times when i'm driving this part of the road uh, many other uh many other times just to send that data back to the fsd team Left turn signal does come on. We're gonna make a left-hand turn at this light coming up. We do have a car that we need to yield to coming the opposite direction. And now it should come to a stop. Green light, we do have a green arrow so we can go. No hesitation by the FSD, smooth right here. Even though we do have some construction going on as you can see. Excellent job, excellent left turn at that stoplight. Right turn signal comes on, we are gonna be yielding um, to some cross traffic here. It is entering this turn lane here at the stoplight. No traffic coming up, There, uh, one car coming up, so it needs to take it quick. There is no warm up lane. It did kind of get in front of that car just a little bit um, you can see if I put the rear camera on, you can see there was a car behind us. It was still safe, but um, it could have been either way for a human driver. Okay, so we do have a bit of a slowdown here. So cars are slowing down in front of us. And we also have 
uh, emergency vehicles. It looks like the road is closed, so we're gonna have to go around this little detour here. So it'll be interesting to see what the FSD does, but I am gonna be extra cautious taking over. We do need to turn right here um, and follow traffic. We do see the police officer, and immediately I did not have to take over. FSD was smart enough. You can see on the navigation, it wanted me to go straight. That is so impressive. No hesitation at all. Uh, I do think it was following the lead car some, but the only thing there was a police officer standing there with the flashlight, uh, kind of flashing the uh, flashlight at us, uh, telling us to turn this way. So excellent job by the FSD. I mean, that was incredibly in impressive. Now you can see the nav has uh, updated itself after that FSD maneuver there, and it has rerouted us to our destination still, kind of following all this traffic that's being rerouted um, because of some sort of uh, emergency event happening on the road there. That is incredibly impressive. Um, even though it was following a lead car, I do wanna try that again um, without a lead car, although it might be challenging because that is a pretty heavily trafficked road there. Um, but wow, was that incredible. Now, so you can see that we are um, slated to go straight through this stop sign. Um, I believe this is only a two-way stop. Uh, we could get back out to the road, I believe, by turning right here. Looks like an accident waiting to happen. This car in front of me almost crept forward. FSD definitely being cautious here. Still being cautious once more. And it looks like we are yielding to the cross traffic over here um, on this section of road. So there is still a heavy flow of traffic here. No turn signal, so you can tell that the FSD is going to go straight. But because we're getting this heavy flow, the turn signals are coming on late. Now the FSD has a gap and it does end up taking it. That was probably the longest I've sat at a four-way or a two-way stop sign uh, with FSD. Hey Tesla owners, as you can tell by now, I'm all about owning my Tesla for a very long time, which is why I'm excited to partner with today's sponsor, Amber. Amber shares the same goal of promoting longer and sustainable usage of electric vehicles by offering AmberCare, a solution for EV extended warranties. As a Tesla owner, I know how great it is to have a car that doesn't need much maintenance, but I also know that out of warranty repairs can be costly due to specialized parts. Amber is here to bring peace of mind to Tesla owners like you and me. AmberCare offers three coverage options. Basic, that matches Tesla's basic warranty, excluding wear wear and tear, battery, and drive unit. Essentials, which covers the high voltage battery and drive unit. Premium offers the maximum protection, including everything in basic, plus the battery and drive unit. Currently available in 47 states, Amber is expanding fast. Unlike traditional extended warranties, Amber provides modern, reliable protection with a customer first approach. Drive with confidence, knowing Amber has you covered. Check it out now by clicking the link down below. Green arrow, left turn signals on, traffic in front of us is stopping. Smooth left turn. Now approaching this four-way stop here behind this car in this right hand, uh, right turn only lane. Should come to a full nits of stop here. Waiting for another vehicle. Now it is going. Smooth right turn. Some pedestrians looking like they're gonna cross the street, but did end up turning away from the street, so the FSD did continue. I feel like the path prediction for pedestrians has improved so rapidly with this version 12 FSD compared to version 11 and previous versions. Another hidden stop sign here, which it does see. It's a little bit harder when leaves are on the trees. Full stop. Going to head forward now. Lots of pedestrians crossing, but we do have a stop sign here. 
I do like how it's slowed down to give it a, those pedestrians a little bit extra room there. And it looks like it's gonna turn on the left turn signal, which this is a ballsy maneuver here. We did have an F, F, uh, SUV coming, but very ballsy maneuver there. I'm gonna go ahead and push, oh, was it about to park? Oh, we gotta try that again. Oh man, I just took over and I think it was gonna park. I just tapped on the accelerator pedal. I, it looks like on the nav that it's going to kind of make a U, little U-turn up here. And I wanna see if it's pulling into a spot. So full U-turn completed to kind of reach our destination again. I was a little bit quick to put my foot on the brake. It looked, okay. Almost thought it was gonna pull over there into a parking spot. Left turn signal does come on. A couple spots there as well. Now we're gonna be coming up behind this car here who looks like is waiting for this car here. You can see it on the touch display is reversing out of this end spot. Left turn signal still is on. So we're just kind of replicating where we were. It says navigate on autopilot ending in zero feet. So it's making that left hand turn. There's still those two spots right there. It's waiting for this car in front of us that's backing out. Now just about 15 feet in front of us is where it started to turn left. So let's see what happens here. Turn left into those spots right there. So that passing, the pedestrian just got in their car right here on the center display. It's, it's still thinking, oh my gosh. And it's pulling into this spot, pulling forward into this spot. I have not touched anything, no nothing by me it's full pulled completely into the spot let me pull up the cameras for you guys so you can see that we are you can see the two sidelines here fsd is still on so now this car is backing out in front of us so i'm curious to see if it actually pulls forward but you can see that we pulled perfectly into the spot um you can almost see it's showing two of the lines but man so fsd is still on it says we're point one away from our target so like this would be a great time to just end but it does not say navigation complete or anything like that so really super impressive uh, by the fsd getting us to our destination here we are at our destination at target and it pulled into this parking spot clearly because i disengaged went around the block and then clearly pulled into this parking spot again this is not version 13 so this is only version 12 so imagine what version 13 is going to be like that was remarkable and how it was able to navigate around that police officer yes it had a lead car but a police officer with emergency lights and the fsd was smart enough to yep i'm hanging right navigation updates remarkable really remarkable i cannot wait for version 13. i hope you guys like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up that's how you can support this channel also thanks so much for watching Share this video with a friend and don't forget to subscribe or if you're on X, follow me. I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.